Beautiful. All right, friends, welcome. Thank you so much for being here and sharing this time and this space with me. Mm -hmm. I see you. And um, okay, we'll, we'll just drop in from here. Let's actually start with the hands just resting, palms up. Lengthen yourself tall, gently close your eyes, you can even drop your chin. And just settling into your breath. Settling into your seat. As you begin your next inhale, nice and long, and as you exhale, join the palms together in front of your heart as you invite all parts of yourself into this practice. Take one more breath in your stillness and your quiet. And inhale deeply right to the top. Hold it there and open your mouth, exhale. And then join with me as we chant Om together three times. Inhale. Bowing your chin, place your hands on your thighs, lift your chin, and open your eyes. Okay, so we'll start on your backs, and we're not going to be there for that long, but take the time to make it comfortable. So blanket underneath your head, and I have this little, um, it's not a real sheepskin, but just sitting here on top of my mat. So feel free to put a blanket down. Come and lie down and we'll just take a few moments here, just however you settle. Just feeling the ground beneath you, surrendering to the floor, letting the whole length of the spine feel supported. And we'll move into windshield wiper. So bend your knees if the legs are straight. Take your arms out to the side. Separate your feet apart and just start to rock your knees side to side. Let your feet move, hips move, back move, whatever comes into this. And then coordinate this movement with your breath. And the next time the knees drop over to the right side, let's leave them there. And feel free to adjust the stance if you need to bring them closer together and keep them further apart. Turn your head to the left. Breathe into your body. You could take your left arm and extend it alongside your ear just to open up the left side. Just through the shape, no, no other effort. Let's take two more breaths. And then you'll switch sides. So head will come up, knees come up. Knees to the left, head to the left. And the right arm can come up and alongside your ear. And then adjust whatever you need between your, your legs, your knees. Bless me. And just drop in, breathe here, settle in. Feel the breath doing the work of just gently opening the right side. And 
and then bring everything back to center. Walk your feet in a little closer to your hips and keep the feet hip distance apart. Let's bring the right knee into the chest and just hug it in and rock that knee in and out. Let your tailbone move, whatever needs to move. Just rock this knee in and out a few times. And with the left leg bent, you have a little bit of a deeper range of motion than when we have the left leg straight. Good. Let's just do one more rocking in and out. Good. And then take your left hand, just place it on your left thigh. Bring the right arm to the inside of the right knee. Catch hold of the baby toe edge of the foot or your ankle or your pant leg, whatever you need to hold on here. And bring this leg into a happy baby half happy baby and we're just starting so let's rock this happy baby so you'll just use that left foot on the floor kind of guide the rocking you rock onto your back and then rock over to the right side Good. so you're moving on your back your left hip is lifting and lowering just realizing that this is just the warm-up and then come onto your back, cross this right ankle over the left knee, take your hands to your belly. Take a few breaths here, don't do anything, just let this shape allow, you know, the right side might feel a little heavier, left side a little lighter. And then staying in this shape, just take your arms back out to the side now. And as you exhale, drop this package over to the left. So the left foot, um, the right foot, sorry, comes down to the floor. And the left hand comes and grabs hold of that right ankle. And we'll turn our head to the right. And just breathe here. Close your eyes, smile. If you're feeling a lot of tightness, you, know, you can even take that right hand and just massage wherever you're feeling that tightness. We're just ah, breathe into it. Let's take one more full breath in. Full breath out. Release the left hand. Bring this leg package back up to center. And then just wave side to side with this. So you keep the right ankle over the left thigh, but just rock this leg package side to side. Good. Feel everything that happens when you do this. Low back, sides of the waist, the hips, the hip crease. Good. And then bring it back to center and we're just gonna rest here. So do nothing, stay in the shape. Just let that right knee open wherever it wants or maybe not at all. And take one more breath. Okay, we're gonna to move to thread the needle. So we'll bring the left thigh in. The hands can interlace behind the left thigh or on top of the shin, or, you know, maybe not at all. And if you need to just rest with the foot on the floor, if it's enough for you to just be there, then be there. Just breathe here. And then shift a little bit over to the left. Turn your head to the right, and we'll just take three breaths. Just feeling and breathing, receiving. Good. Okay, bring your head to center, release the clasp, left foot to the floor, right foot to the floor, and then we take three breaths for rest. So you wanna stretch your legs out, then go for that. Otherwise, just be here. And even feel deeply into the right, left side of your body. I love that. Like that's about six minutes of moving. And, and hopefully, you know, I feel a palpable difference between the two sides. I hope you do this too, so. Good, okay, now we'll even it out. So the legs are bent, feet on the floor, bring the left knee in towards your chest, opposite interlace your fingers and just rock this knee in and out a few times. And you can make it, you know, exaggerate it. How's that? So if you're using the right foot on the floor as you bring that knee in, maybe the tailbone lifts, 
And as you press that shit away from you, you can feel this, maybe a little arch in the back. It might happen, but not. Okay. And then resting, and we'll move into that half happy baby. So right hands rest on the right thigh, left arm to the inside of the left knee, catch hold of the baby toe edge of your foot, your ankle, your pants, whatever you can get here. And we'll just start to rock this baby side to side. So the left knee might come to the floor, and then you rock over. The right knee is moving to help facilitate this motion. The right hip might be lifting a lot, coming down, just whatever you're doing in this shape, just be playful. Okay, and we'll just do one more, and then you'll let this right ankle cross over the left knee, and we're just gonna rest here. So the hands can rest on your belly. Let the, the package just be as it is. So the left knee is just dropping, Left side of your waist opening, shoulders dropping. Good. And then opening both arms out to the side. And we'll drop this leg package to the right. Sole of the left foot moves towards the floor. Maybe it goes flat on the floor. Right hand catches hold of the ankle and the head can turn to the left. Soften your jaw. So if you're gritting, grip, gripping, not gritting, gripping at all in your face, side of your waist, anything that, you know, this brings up and you kind of try to protect. See if you can drop in, let go. Allow your body to just take this shape and move deeper by letting go. It's easy breathing. You just take one more breath in, and breathe out, and then release that leg, bring this package back up. Do nothing, few breaths, just be. And then thread the needle on this side. So right thigh into your chest, opposite interlace the fingers behind the thigh, or you find your place here, wherever this is for you that works. And it's a pigeon on your back. Breathe here. Good. And then shift this package a little bit to the right. Maybe you turn your head to the left. Drop your jaw. So let the lips part, mouth very relaxed. And then bring your head to center, release the hands, right foot to the floor, left foot to the floor, and then just drop in. Okay, and then friends from here, we'll bring both knees into the chest, right hand on right knee or right shin, left hand, left knee, left shin, and just open your knees apart, pull them towards your shoulders, and then anchor your tailbone, your low back to the floor as best as you can. Flex your feet a little bit. Imagine maybe you're in squat and you're standing on your feet, tailbone is down. So you're not rounding and lifting up as best as you can here. Lengthen yourself long on the floor as you stay here. Good, okay. And then bring the knees together. Maybe you interlace your fingers on top of the shins here and just hug these knees in and out. We're gonna to stay together. The inner edges of your feet are together. Okay, and then keep the knees as best as you can where they are. Take your arms down, palms down, and you might adjust your legs, but we're just gonna paint lines as if there's paint brushes on the soles of your feet and you're just painting horizontal lines. So you're just moving these feet side to side and they're staying together as best as you can. If, you know, that's no good, separate. You're still gonna get the action in the hips just by painting these lines. And now I'm gonna start to paint a circle as if there's paint brushes on the bottoms of my feet. 
And so I'm turning through the, it's really the knees maybe that are doing most of this. Good, and now reverse and paint a circle in the opposite direction. Beauty, thank you, lovely. Good, that's it. So you're feeling your turning. Nice, okay. And then we're gonna rest. So either feet to the floor or knees to the chest, whichever one you wanna take, just take rest. Okay, one more breath, full breath in, breathe it out. Take your hands back down to the floor. And this time I'm gonna drop the knees side to side. So I'm not resting on the floor. I squeeze everything together here, the feet, the knees, take the belly in, bottom ribs in, smile, shoulders down, and then start to drop your knees maybe almost to the floor on the right side and almost to the floor on the left side. And so I'm just going to go back and forth if it needs to be a little smaller or you just prefer to just drop the knees, take a few breaths and then move to the other side. That's all fine. Good. Okay, so if you're doing this side to side without touching, I'm going to amp it up a little bit and move a little faster. So, you know, it might not go right to the floor. We're going to smile. Yeah, so breathe, you count down from five, four, three, two, and one. And I move right close to the wall, so I'm just gonna readjust myself, just take it back. Stretch your legs out, take your arms over your head when you're done. Do nothing, breathe. Okay. So in this nice long shape, we're gonna take this like Frankenstein or whatever you want, I don't know, coming out of the crypt or the coffin, lift up. So we're gonna just work the abdominals a few times. And so I'm gonna go up and down maybe five times, lift, you know, coming up to sitting and coming all the way back down. And so you can join with me or go slower or just stay here or do it once. So you'll find your place. Okay, flex your feet. Open your hands, spread your fingers, toes point up to the sky. Inhale. As you exhale, lift your arms up to the sky, lift your head and keep going. Round yourself forward and maybe go really slow. And once you come up to sitting, you can reach up as you inhale. And as you exhale, curl back, chin to the chest. Take yourself down. And then the arms come over the head. Okay, and then we'll just continue. You just find it. Like I said, we'll do five. So I'm not going that fast, but I'm really drawing the abdominals in using that. The abdominals right at the solar plexus to help lift and lower. You might spread your toes if that helps. And you notice for yourself, you know, as you come up, what are you recruiting to help? So if you're lifting your legs or doing any of that, that's, that's fine. You just kind of notice and you want to get to that place where the legs are just rounding they're holding you to the floor so you can facilitate this movement from the abdominals i feel that that's five but i kind of lost count so we're going to end sitting up so as whenever you are ready come and sit up and reach the arms and then we'll just take the arms down and just rest them on the floor Good. Take a breath in and out. We're gonna assume we're all sitting. Bend your knees, take the feet to the floor. Good, okay, turn your hands. Let's just do a little windshield wiper here. Good, okay. We're gonna to come to center. I'm gonna lift the hips up. So find your hands so that they're in a plot. I'm just sneaking mine underneath. Spread the fingers, open your heart, feet on the floor, inhale. And as you exhale, lift up. Good, maybe you rock front to back. And it's a wrist, you know, wrist and shoulder. And if that's too much, put your tush on the floor and find a way to do a little rocking. Okay, I'm gonna stay here, lift the hips, anchor the feet, anchor the hands, take the shoulders back. Okay, one more breath. Now I'm gonna walk my hands over, I'm coming to squat. So 
you know, maybe you fake it till you make it, you come into your squat, it's all fine. Once you're here, I'm just turning myself, <sighs> breathe, and we're just gonna rock front to back on the feet. So you can take the knees down and take them back. Feel this is almost cat-cow. As you come forward, maybe you lift the chin, look up, and as you come back, you round back. <sighs> okay, so I know this is a lot, doesn't work for everybody, but you find a way to make it work. Okay, and then as we settle back, I'm just gonna be in squat for two breaths. So you can keep your hands on the floor. Maybe your heels are lifting, you're doing the work, it's all good, or the hands come together. And then we'll move to forward fold. So the hands will come down, the tush is gonna lift. Take your time, adjust your feet. And this is, you know, your first forward fold for a little while. Maybe bend your knees, shift. Work out the kinks a little bit. Okay, so you're welcome to bring in some blocks if you like. And um, we'll use the blocks, but right now we're just gonna stay in this forward fold. And feel free to heel toe your feet to a comfortable distance apart. And good, okay. And then just drop in, we'll take two breaths, just feeling the backs of the legs starting to open. You know you can always bend your knees. From here, I'm gonna walk my hands over to the left and then drop in again to this forward fold. So if you wanna bend your knees or shift your hips or just release into this non-linear shape. Good. And then we'll walk your hands through center and over to the right. And again, just taking a few breaths here, feeling your body, what's happening. Good. Okay, and then bring your hands to center. Good, walk your hands forward a little bit. We're gonna come up onto the tiptoes. So I'm gonna lift, not tiptoes, onto the balls of the feet. <laughs> tiptoes would be ballet. So lift your heels up high, bend your knees now. So the heels are lifted. Let's see if I just turn to the side. Heels are lifted, I'm gonna drop the tush. You know, look forward, see if I can balance here. <sighs> okay, and then the hands down, heels down, drop your head. Good. Okay, now I'm gonna lift the feet up and stay on the heels. So you might bend your knees a lot for, to make that happen. So see what you can do here and then see if you can balance on your heels. Lower the tush, oh, let's see, nope. Good, and then drop in again. Good, okay, walk your hands forward, feet back. We'll take a brief downward dog. So brief, just, you know, just get into it. Take two or three breaths. And then bring yourself into child's pose. So knees to the floor, tops of the feet hips to heels, and you can bring your hands in to support your head or keep them long. You can take five breaths here. You can let your head drop, feel your breath. And one last full breath in, full breath out. Good. And then walk your hands back. We'll come to sit in Vajrasana on the heels. Just let your hands rest. Yeah, so do drop the tail, crown of the head extending, smile. Good. Take your hands to the floor, tuck your toes under, and let's just sit on the heels here for a moment so you can keep your hands on the floor or take them up if this is okay. So let the feet open. And okay, I'm gonna come back to forward fold. So hands down, lift your hips, separate your feet if you need to, drop in to this forward fold, head dropping, legs straight or knees bent. And we're gonna come all the way up. So I'm gonna do that from that balancing on the toes. So I'll lift the heels high, set the hips down, 
Take the arms out. I'm going to balance, 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 balance. And then rise up, stand up. Maybe you're still on the balls of the feet. And then lower the heels, palms together, in front of your heart. Breathe. Good. Okay. So we're going to come stand at the front of the mat. And you're welcome to bring your blocks. Um, let's see, I'm just going to adjust the camera, but I think I'm just going to leave it. Just talk you through. So I'll take these blocks to the front of the mat. Okay. Bring your hands together at your heart. We'll inhale. And exhale as you are. Just stay with the hands together at the heart. Feel your feet. Feel your breath. Inhale and exhale, arms by your side. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Then exhale, open the arms up to the sides. Fold forward, take your hands to your blocks. As you inhale, anchor the hands, lift the head and the chest. And as you exhale, fold. I'm just going to take it to lunge. So you might move your blocks like on either side of your feet. And then step the left foot all the way to the back. You can wiggle it. Good. And then once you're here, we're just going to bend the knee and straighten the back leg. So adjust yourself. If you need a blanket, I'm not actually bringing the knee to the floor. I'm just going to bend and straighten. And we're going to do this from the effort of that left heel. So feel the heel almost draw forward to bend the knee. And the heel push back to straighten the leg. That's it. That's it. Let's do one more. Good. Okay, now we're gonna bend that knee. Let's take the knee all the way to the ground just for a moment. Straighten your right leg. And feel free to pull the blocks back or forward. Good, okay, so now we're here. I'm gonna just lift that, Woo. maybe not. Okay, forget this. We'll just stay here like this. This is good. Breathe here. Good. Okay, and then set that foot on the floor. Come back to this bent knee lunge. You're going to lift the back knee up off the floor. Keep the left hand on the block. Reach the right arm up to the sky. And maybe even past the sky. Like, reach over to the left side. Good. And then take that right hand down. Pivot your back foot so it's flat. Bend into that front knee. And now lift the left arm up. Good. Okay, warrior two. So from here, I'll keep the legs exactly as they are. The back foot is, you know, the heels turning in out a little bit. Now just take your arms up. Come into your warrior two. Straighten the legs. Reach up. Inhale. As you exhale, open the arms back out. Bend into the right knee. Inhale, straighten. Arms lift. And exhale, come back. Now let's just do one more. And warrior two, we're just gonna hang out here, two breaths, look at your right hand, open that right knee out, find your balance in the left leg. Now straighten both legs and we'll take it to triangle. So the right arm shifts to the right, left hand can come to your hip. Take the right hand down to your right, the block. The block can move back or in. And then I even I'm gonna turn that left heel out more. Open your chest, look up, take your tailbone back a little bit. Good, take the belly in, press your feet into the earth. Reach that left arm up to the sky, turn the palm to face your head and sweep it up and over your ear. And just reach. Good. Okay, both hands to blocks. Turn that left foot, and we're just going to take pyramid pose. So the left foot comes in, right foot comes in. You kind of make your stance a little smaller so that both feet can be on the floor. You have your blocks. Okay, now just move your hips. So you can move your hips here. Yeah, because that, that's integral to the pose. You know, if we, like when we just did triangle pose, I said move your tailbone back. But here, we want to bring the hips or the left hip forward, right hip back. Good. Feel your feet nice and strong. And then if you can fold down, you can bring your head down. Okay. Now feel your hips. Do that little hip dance. 
And then bring that left hip forward, right hip back. Good, okay. Good, and then lift your head and your heart. Bring your feet together and we'll just come to forward fold. You can bring your blocks forward if you like or take your hands right to the floor. Good. Okay, we'll take one more breath. And then we're gonna come all the way up to standing and let's do that through Utkatasana that kind of, but without, you know, maybe we'll keep the feet on the floor this time. So you'll bend your knees a lot. Take your arms straight out in front of you or up to the sky. And then inhale, stand up. And exhale, hands together and then your heart. And just drop in. Okay. Second side. Here we go. So we'll inhale. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, sweep up, reach up, look up. And exhale, open your arms, sit down on your legs, take your hands to your blocks. Inhale, lift your chin and your heart. This is a part of the pose, this halfway. And on your next exhalation, fold. Good. Okay, now we take lunge second side. So left foot can come forward, right foot's gonna come back, kind of wiggle it. And then once you're in it, friend, then just Start again with that lifting and the lowering of the knee. But see, can you drive that from the heel? How does your right heel, can it drive this action a little bit? And just feel, feel your heel. Good, okay. Nice, and then we'll let this knee come all the way down. We're gonna pull the hips back, straighten the left leg. Maybe the left foot lifts up off the floor except for the heel. You find your place with your blocks. It needs to come in or go out and you fold down. Breathe. I don't know if we folded in a lot the first time, but fold here if that works for you. Good. Okay, and then we'll come back into this bent knee lunge. And then you'll lift that right knee up off the floor, nice and strong through that right heel. Okay, feel the right hand on the block. Take the left arm, reach it up, and maybe back. Just open yourself here. Feel your legs shining, working. Left hand to the block. Take your right foot, turn it so it's flat to the floor, and then reach your right arm up. And now feel your legs. Right heel can turn out a little bit. Nice and strong, come up, warrior two. And as you inhale, you straighten the legs, reach up. And as you exhale, open the arms, warrior two. Inhale, exhale. Woo. Find your warrior, your strength. Good, stay here. Two breaths, open the legs, like you press the thighs back. Good, okay. Inhale, straighten the legs, and we'll do a triangle pose. So right hand to your hip, reach the left arm, reach, reach to the left. Left hand to the block. Put that block maybe middle of your left shin. Now you open your chest to the right side. Take the tail back, hips back, and open yourself here. You can look up, feel your feet pressing into the floor. Reach the arm up, right arm up, turn the palm facing your head and sweep it up and alongside your ear as best as you can. Just find extension here, everything. The hands are reaching, feet are pressing. Okay, and then release hands to the blocks and we're gonna narrow the stance so we can go to pyramid pose. We find your place here with the legs in a good comfortable distance, even if you need to bend your knees. And then maybe you fold down. Okay, do that hip walk or hip dance we did the first side. And feel here that the right hip is going to come forward, left hip is going to move back. And drop in and breathe. Okay. All right. And then from here, I'll just take that left foot back a little bit, bring the right foot forward. We're gonna take the blocks and just set them aside and then move into your downward facing dog. 
And if downward dog is too much, you, you know you can always move into child's pose or puppy pose where the knees are on the floor and the arms are straight. Another version of downward facing dog. Okay, from here, big toes touch. Let's lift the right leg up to the sky and just stretch it up. Look at your left thigh, press it back. Maybe lift and lower the left heel a few times. Okay, and then set that foot down. We'll do the same with the left leg. So we'll lift it up and you open through the right thigh. And then just working that right heel, lift and lower a few times. Okay, both feet down, let's take child's pose. However you like, this time I'm gonna bring the knees right together. So however you like. Good. Okay, drop into your breath. Let the breath open the back, feel the vibrancy of your body. Nice. Take one more breath. And then just walk yourself into a seated position for a few moments. Okay. Great. Whenever you're ready to be here. Okay, we're going to move into forearm dog. And I'm going to turn and face the wall. If you are set up by your wall, great. If you're not, don't worry about it. You're fine as you are. And so we'll just move from hands and knees. You take your forearms to the floor, then walk your shoulders, uh, not your shoulders, your elbows in a little bit. Bring your hands together, interlace your fingers, and then that little pinky that's going to take all that weight, tuck it in. So you have the pinkies one on top of the other. And so that they both touch the ground. Okay, then once you're here, let's just have the toes tucked under. Take your shoulders back. Maybe lift your chin. Take your belly in. Take your um, front ribs in. Smile. I mean, that's a bit of work already, right into the upper back. So bottom ribs in, chin lifted, smiling. Okay, inhale. As you exhale, lift your hips up into the air. If you're coming here, if you want to stay on your knees, that's fine. You stay on your knees. You might just move front to back, which is what we're going to do in downward dog. So from here, I lift the gaze and start to rock yourself front to back. It's like you're flossing your shoulders, using the forearms, your breath, your legs. So you feel the heels come forward and back. Good, okay, do one more. Good. And then come into child's pose. This time, if your forehead rests on the floor, take your arms back, backs of the hands to the floor. Breathe. Okay, and then Bring yourself to a uh, seated. Okay, so I'm gonna do that again. And this time we'll lift one leg up in the air. And if you wanna do this on your hands and knees, that's fine too. You know, you'll rock front to back on your hands and knees. And when we lift a leg up, you'll just extend the leg back. So it's all fine. Okay, we'll change the interlace of the fingers. So come onto your hands and knees, turn your inner elbows to face front and lower onto your forearms. Then walk your forearms towards each other, palms together, change the interlace of your fingers. Tuck that little pinky under. Maybe the thumbs reach up to, the, like they're just pointing straight up to the sky and they're touching each other. Okay, now just be here for a moment. Tuck your toes under, take the shoulders away from your ears, lift your chin, take the belly in, the bottom, I mean the front ribs in, smile. And inhale. And if you're going to downward dog, now exhale, take it in. This time walk your feet in a little closer, even just like one little millimeter. 
Lift your head and let's rock front to back maybe three times. Just a loss this way. Good, and then settle in, big toes touch, lift the right leg up. Maybe you floss front to back with the leg lifted or not, it's fine. And then we'll just switch legs. And you could just be here or front to back. Good. Okay, and then just come to rest. Child's pose, arms behind you if that works. Hold on to your feet if that works. Let the head release. Breathe. Okay, and then come up. Okay, so this is does move into, a, um, it's called Pincha Maria Chiasana, which is like a version of headstand. But we take that same hand and the legs come to the wall. So we could do, you could totally skip this, but you know, maybe you turn around. If you have a wall, and we come back, I'll just demonstrate really quick. So you can just watch, I'll take these down. And I might just take one leg to the wall, see if I can lift the other foot up just for fun or switch, you know, you could do that. Or you could take both legs to the wall, find this. Maybe there's a flossing <laughs> or not. Okay, or you just come back to whatever you did before. If you're interested in the kick up, then I'm just gonna show it because, you know, it's only fearful until we get there. So I was saying the other day when we did um, handstand that the scariest part is getting the hips to come over the head. It's the scariest part. So I set everything up. I come here, I walk my feet in, I lift everything we did. And then, you know, the lever leg stays straight. The other leg is your jumping leg. And I have to push the forearms down at the same time to get the legs up. But it's all fine. You know, wherever you go, you go. Okay, so yogi's choice. Either just repeat, put your feet at the wall, kick up, whatever one. Okay, and then so find your shoulders if you're not there yet. I'm gonna kick up to the wall again just because good practice. And you do whatever works, breathe. Anchor your forearms if you're in some sort of headstand or feet at the wall. <sighs> Take two more breaths. <sighs> okay, and then come back to your rest. You might still be in your rest, that's fine too. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Oh, groovy. All right, come on up. Okay, good. All right, so we'll take um, just one more here just to kind of move the shoulders. So we'll start in um, Vajrasana. And so this is rabbit pose. I take the hands down. I'm gonna put the forehead on the floor and then I lift the hips so I roll onto the crown of the head. And so we might do that a few times, just rolling. And then once you're up, you take your arms, you can reach up and interlace the fingers and open. Okay, so if you're moving in with me, take a breath, take your hands to the floor and your forehead to the floor. Now lift your hips, roll onto the crown of your head and you might just go back and forth a few times with the hands on the floor and that might be the whole pose you do. Otherwise you go to the crown of the head, take the shoulders away from the floor Reach your arms up to the sky or interlace your fingers. Reach up here. Take one more breath. And then hands to the floor if they're lifted and you roll back and you just come up to sit. So it's just opening the crown of the head and we take that little extra for the shoulders. Okay, so nice we do it twice. <laughs> okay. So take your hands to the floor, forehead to the floor, then lift your hips, roll onto the crown of your head and decide you know, if that's good enough. Otherwise, anchor the crown of the head, take the shoulders away from the ears, lift your arms up to the sky or opposite interlace your fingers. Reach up, open, chin is tucked. One more breath. 
and release and either sit for a few moments or child's pose. Excellent, excellent work. Then, okay, beautiful, huh, thank you. All right, so we're gonna come to rest in um, Shavasana two. So that is with the bolster um, along the length of the spine and you might use your blocks, one for the heart, one for the head. And you can also not have blocks at all. I mean, just put the bolster down and then you lie over it. I just wanna open, let, give the shoulders a chance to rest. So you can come to sit, hips on the floor, your legs can be out, they can be open. And then you'll just lie back. So have one bolster, the block hits the back of the heart, the other block supports the head, the arms can open. And this could be a very big drop if you have very tight shoulders here at the front. So you might take the blocks out or just put some blankets underneath your arms to just support you a little bit better. And okay, so we'll just take a few moments, find whatever this is for you, how it's gonna work the best. If you need a support under your head, you know, take the time and put that, an extra support under your head. And then we'll just drop in here. Shavasana to you, letting the shoulders drop. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit extra. And you're going to decide if this works for you or not. But we'll start by taking the arms up to the, straight up to pointing up to the ceiling. Start to take the arms up and over your head. The thumbs are going to aim down. And then here you might, you know, I hit the wall here. So I'm going to grab opposite elbows. And you're welcome to do that too, or just keep taking the arms over. Okay. <clears throat> and take a few breaths. Soften your third eye. And if you've got opposite elbows, just change the grasp now so you can actually switch. And then just come back in. If you're still reaching your arms over your head, you know, just keep reaching, breathing. Okay. And then we'll release, but take your arms straight up to the sky first. And then as you exhale, open them out to the sides like a T. So if that's too, too much, you know, drop them down. If you want a little more, you just take them a little bit above shoulder height. You can turn your palms down if that's better. Just kind of see what feels better for you. Okay, and then from here, friends, we're just going to take the arms up to the sky. You're going to cross the right arm over the left and just drop the hands down. You know, maybe they're going to rest on the sides of the bolster or underneath your shoulders. You're just giving yourself a big hug. Take the elbows, bring them down so that you're pressing into the chest a little bit. And draw your chin down. So take the chin down. Breathe. You can rock side to side like you're like, oh, so good to see you. And then we'll just lift the arms up to the sky. Take the left arm in front of the right. Find that same little embrace. Jaw soft, elbows coming down. So you, you might be really pressing them into your chest. And then release, take the arms back out to the sides, palms up or down, whatever's better for you. Okay, then we'll just take the arms to a restful place. So that might be down right by your sides and any place that you can just be into the shape, just receive the support, no effort. Feel your breath. Take two more breaths. Okay. And then from here, we're gonna come up to sitting. 
So I'll just activate the leg and we come out of the crypt the way we did before. I'll lift the chin and start to come up. Should be a little easier because we have a lift already. Okay, good. All right, from here, we're, we are moving to Shavasana. I'm gonna take five minutes and legs up the wall and then Shavasana. So if you'd like to do that, you could also use the bolster little setup you have here. If you, you know, don't have your wall set up, you can just take the legs on top of this. And if you wrap them with a blanket and then, or tie your belt, then they should stay. So either this or legs up the wall, which is where I'm gonna go. So all are in. Just something just to get the legs. You know, we did do a lot of leg stuff today too. So just to change the blood flow for few moments. So I have my bolster here and I'm just going to sit on it. And my heating pad. <laughs> Spread that out. And then just flip yourself around. If you're coming to legs up the wall, you know, you could be, I'm very close to the wall. That might be too much for your legs. You can always come back a little bit. But you know, if you're good, make it so it works for you. And then feeling bringing in whatever props you need. So I said, we're here for about maybe four minutes in this legs elevated shape. And you're welcome to stay like that the whole rest if you dig it. Otherwise I'll let you know when we move into Shavasana. I'm just receiving this opportunity for a change in flow of energy, flow of fluid. Let the legs be higher than the heart. So if you didn't get upside down today, then this is your upside down. One of the beautiful things about this yoga practice is the empowerment and the reminding. You know, we invite in the playfulness that we explored as children naturally. What could our bodies do? It was always a quest to maybe jump off the highest um, platform at the swimming pool or the diving boards, whatever it is, you're always looking for ways to challenge yourself. Whatever you did in today's practice, just evoke that feeling of like expanding and challenging and reawakening and playfulness. Just feel that you have evoked all of that. And then settling into those feelings with this grounding shape we're in right now. The chance of just absorbing everything you offered. So releasing your breath, your inner gaze, your tension, your stress, your muscular effort, release it all. So you stay as you are. I'm gonna take these next few moments and move into Halasana Plow Pose. And I'm gonna talk you through, and you, this is one where, you know, just as you're lying here, you can visualize the feet are gonna come over the head. So they might touch the floor and they might not, and the hands might come to rest on the backs of the hips. So you can just ignore this if you're interested. I'll just talk you through. So if you're at the wall, it's gonna be a little easier. If you have your legs on the bolster, you're just gonna skip it. But if you have, you're at the wall, maybe you bend your knees, put your feet to the wall, and you start to lift your hips up. Then you take your hands to the small of your back or your back hips, and take one leg over the head, and maybe both. And I might take the feet towards the floor and then I'll stretch my arms out or keep the hands at the back. You go wherever feels good. You know, it might just be one leg stretching out and then back, just keeping one foot at the wall or both feet over the head. 
breathe. I'm going to turn my heels away from each other. And I'll just take five more breaths here. If you're ready to come out, you know, you lift one leg up, take it to the wall and then the other one. And then you can go back to legs up the wall. Okay. Now I'm just coming out, settling back into legs up the wall for a moment or two, just to let that come out. That's very therapeutic for the thyroid when you're in that shape. So if you didn't get there, it's all fine. Okay. And then now yogi's choice, if you want to stay or you want to shift into Shavasana. He's coming to lie down. You can use your bolster however you like. I feel I'm going to stay here and legs up the wall. Let's make it warmer. And, but set yourself up into a place where you could be very restful. So we'll just take another four minutes or so. And just deeply relax. Settle into this body. into this experience of joy. Just for playing, for being, for experiencing, for exploring. Let all of that just permeate through, remind you. Everything you hold. This great gift of embodiment. And the ability to be creative and to create. And at this moment, you are creating the optimal place to do nothing and just surrender. Dropping in a little more deeply through the breath in your own presence. Noticing any tension in your eyes, your jaw, your shoulders. You're choosing to stay as you are. We're beginning to make little movements Bless me as you stretch and find your way back to your seated. Take your time. If you have the legs up the wall, then just take a few moments with the knees bent or into your chest. And anything else that is allowing the blood flow to slowly come back. Coming to rest on your side for a few moments. And up to sitting whenever you're ready. Yes. Okay. So 
So as we're moving into the new moon on Thursday, take your left hand and place the right hand into the left palm, touch the thumbs together. And we have this nice open container as we rest the hands in the lap. Inhale to lengthen and exhale, bow your chin. Just feel your own divine open presence. Okay, if anything else is um, speaking to you or is here, then just acknowledge it. And keeping your hands or your thumbs touching, bring the palms together at the heart. As you inhale, lengthen tall, lift your chin, and as you exhale, stay as you are. And we'll join together in our May We Be Blessed mantra. Inhale. May we be blessed with loving kindness. May we be well. May we be peaceful and at ease. May we be healthy and may we be happy. We seal that with one own. Inhale. Oh. Bow your chin, Om Shanti, Om Peace, Om Namaste. Take a full breath in. Breathe into your hands. Take it in front of your heart, fill it with your compassionate, loving kindness. Lift your chin, open your eyes, and offer this to yourself. Passionate, loving kindness, and we'll offer it out. Yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being here and for playing yoga with me. And you did good practice today. Tell yourself, I did good work today. <laughs> so much love.